so, 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 so. <laughs> Here's our favorite beastie. I'm back. Oh. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Michelle, all I can remember about you is your name, your glassy white skin, your fiery red eyes, and your snow-colored hair. Nothing else. And that's, <gasps> and that's why, when I saw her that night, dripping from the storm raging outside, the... I thought, you're finally here. Because I didn't remember enough to know any better. You already know who I speak of, don't you? The person who caught upon Rose Manor that fated stormy night. The girl with the almost translucently pale skin. Chillingly white hair and eyes like jewels. Ah, oh, what a beautiful girl. Her hair, her eyes, her porcelain skin. It all matches the person in my memories. She must be. The one I've been waiting for. If she is. Oh, there she is! That looks different than what... Hmm, why she... I can't remember. It was so long ago. I think it's because her clothes are different. Yeah. Is something the matter? You go for it. No, I just thought I felt someone watching us. <laughs> it's only your imagination, I'm sure. If not your imagination, then perhaps some unseen force was watching you. Unseen force? Yeah, like, I'm looking at... Uh, if you right-click, you can look at the sprite more. Oh. And I don't know. There's something that looks a bit different. Like I think it, I think you're right that it's the clothing. Yeah, the clothes but... are like her pointy boob. <laughs> hmm. Are you familiar with how people refer to this mansion? Rose Manor. Yes, indeed. It is called Rose Manor because you can smell the sweet fragrance of the rose garden even at a distance. But that is not what I meant. It is said that a witch resides within the house. A witch? I have not heard any such stories. You probably wouldn't have. It was a very, very long time ago. Nothing you need concern yourself with. You have a peculiar presence about you. Should I consider that a compliment? <laughs> a peculiar presence, she says. Does she sense something in me, as I do her? Mm. This has to be her, then. Her name. I need to ask her name. It's getting late. You should get some rest. A room has already been set aside for you. But first, may I ask you one thing? Yes. I do not believe you have given me your name yet. 
My name is Michelle. Ah, uh, I knew it. I, I don't I didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> you are the one. What? You are the one I have been waiting for. Um I haven't heard so much. In anticipation of this moment. So that I could reunite with you. Uh, uh, um. You came to this place to see me again, did you not? Held tight to those wonderful memories until you could make it back to me. I never gave up hope. I always believed and I hoped you'll pray I hope you'll praise me for that. And I ask you to please say my name. To please make me uh, um I I don't know anything about you. I'm sorry. You seem to be confusing me for someone. We have never met before now. <laughs> you... you just... You are Michelle, are you not? Ah, I see, okay. Th that is my name, yes, but it's a fairly common name. Surely you're confusing me with... Th that cannot be. The white hair, white skin, those red eyes, and that name, the name of the Archangel. Everything about you is the same! How can you say you're not my Michelle? Please, Michelle, remember me! S stay away from me! Uh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, um... You would... reject me. I'm so sorry. I honestly don't know you. Do you care nothing anymore for the time we spent together? We have not spent any time together. You would deny everything. I'm sorry! I... see. I see. So you feel nothing for me anymore? You do not need to say anything. I understand. You are feeling a great deal of disgust toward me. N no, why? Or perhaps it is fear. Yes. You are always so kind. You would not easily allow yourself to succumb to hatred. I understand. Please, forget everything I have said. Who are you? I... I am... I am but a simple maid. Nothing more. Laughable, isn't it? I no longer recognized Michelle as anything more than a concept. Man or woman, elderly or infant, as long as they had white hair, red eyes, and the right name, they were you. I needed anything I could get. I was so desperate the thought never even crossed my mind that she was not to you. What do you think, seeing me like this? 
that I'm helpless and hopeless. Listen to this, Morgana. Michelle is back. She's finally come for me. But she does not remember anything, it seems. Not me, not our past, nothing. She saw me and was afraid, in fact. Are you listening, Morgana? Ah, darling devoted Giselle. You poor, pitiful soul. That must have been quite harrowing. But don't worry, you still have me. Besides, this might not be your only chance. As long as you continue on, Michelle could appear before you again. Do you think she will remember me next time? I can't say. That's up to Michelle. You do have another option, though. Forget Michelle yourself and seek out a new master. Someone who can be yours. Someone dedicated and faithful who needs you. Someone worthy of this mansion. Someone who needs me? That's right. Michelle didn't need you, after all. It's alright. Don't worry. You have plenty of time. You have forever. <laughs> oh, I thought my game froze. <laughs> So this is when she first asks her to come in so she can try and find out her identity. And then he starts teaching her how to read. She tells him that strange story about the girl who was locked in a dark mansion and sent, started throwing out letters that were found by someone. And he comes and whisks her away. Oh, I forgot about that part. Uh, Getting the dress to go out for the first time or something. Yeah. And then she was scalped and then went to go find him? Or he's find looking for her? Yeah, Mel's looking for her. Oh, right, right. Oh, because he wants to go talk to the priest. Yeah. Well, yeah, he went, yeah, he went to the priest first. And then Fine. he accidentally snapped at her since he thought she was a beggar. And she ran off. It's raining again today. I... I kind of wonder what happened to him. After he fled from the mansion. Although... I suppose it doesn't much matter to me. The witch is surely watching him. What? what? I don't get what the hissing is. <laughs> is... Yeah. Such a dreadful storm. Sounds like someone crying. Oh, so I guess Mel ended up like running away permanently from the mansion? I guess so. I thought that was all just made up stuff. Hmm. I was, at that point, completely out of my mind. Oh! The rain. Okay broken. My smiles, frowns, and gasps had all been replaced with imitations. 
Shortly afterward, the flaxen-haired boy moved out of the house and went on to become a priest. Okay. The girl fell ill a few day years later, her disease eventually taking her life. But the boy never once returned home. The Rhodes family crumbled. I couldn't bring myself to grieve for them, or to reflect on Hayden's sorrowful end. I simply waited for time to begin moving once again more. <laughs> Here's our favorite beastie! I'm back. <laughs> Little remains to be said about my broken self. But as I stated before we began, that this is a maid's tale. So I would like to take this opportunity to elaborate on events I was unable to show you before. That is if you can bear listening to t such a dismal, miserable story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's our favorite word. <laughs> I, I already told you of my meeting with the beast. So I will begin the second tale from here. After Beastia slaughtered the merchant who showed up at the mansion, his mad laughter echoing through the halls. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh god! It just started flashing again on the stream and I... I... <laughs> Did you hear that? Hi, dude. <laughs> Hell. Oh, oh, shoot, I forgot. <laughs> I'm playing my own game. <laughs> Do you hear his screams? <laughs> a mutilated body lay sprawled across the living room floor. As you can imagine, that was my first time ever seeing such a bloody mangled corpse. <laughs> <laughs> it's Donald! <laughs> I could not look directly at it, so I averted my eyes. Well, I'm not gonna speak with Bestia's voice, because it's Yukimasa. <laughs> hey. Hey, you saw it! I just proved that BOOSTS are stronger than humans! <laughs> Indeed you did. Uh, I know. I've got a great idea. You asked if I wanted to become the master. And I said I did. Which means you work for me, isn't that right? So you'll do whatever I tell you to do, won't you? What would you have me do? Chop up his arms and legs and make a stew out of them. Uh, uh. <laughs> and don't you hesitate or you'll end up like him. Yes, master. Delicious and nutritious. Uh! <laughs> He's trying to assert his total dominance over me. That's not proper behavior for the master. Although I am the one who offered him the role. Do it. He's an utterly mad beast. <laughs> but am I really all that different? <laughs> oh, there's blood all over my hands. It sounds like someone's laughing. Or like a duck is choking on something. <laughs> is it him? Or is it her? No matter what happens, it won't affect me. The cocoon is not the real me. Huh. 
I was looking down at what could only be described as a pile of human debris. I had done this, but that fact did not register with me. I felt nothing at all. Not regret. Not anger. Not sorrow or despair. Put it on the fire. He said he traded in spices. That should give him a very unique flavor. How am I supposed to work with this? I was, quite simply, puzzled. No one had ever made such a request of me in my hundreds of years at the mansion. That's all I was. Puzzled. But he interpreted it as hesitation or fear. So he grabbed me by the shoulder, knocked me to the floor, and skewered me with that curious blade of his. He's gonna be like, are, are, you, are you done? For the first few moments, he wore that deranged grin of his, but as the seconds passed, it slowly transformed into shock. Not a drop of blood spilled from my breast. And the instant he realized it, I saw revulsion in his eyes. Him, of all people. A man who cackled as he slaughtered others was disgusted by a mere maid. It was... absurd. So much so, I almost wanted to cry. <laughs> you... Is that all, Master? Are you not going to dismember me? You could try stabbing my face, or my neck, or my stomach, or any other part of me. Maybe then I might die. Oh now, don't look at me like I'm some exotic creature. <laughs> Stop that. Quit laughing. Why should I? My only distinctive feature is my smile. I have nothing else. My hands are covered in blood, but I can still smile. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I get it now. You're the witch, aren't you? Ah, I see. Only monsters ever had a place here. Every so often I hear a woman's voice in my head. That's you, isn't it? You're the witch! Monster. Witch. Maid. What am I? Who is... Giselle? Michelle said she was spirited. True to herself. That she often laughed and cried and shouted. Ooh. But I don't know anyone like that. I'm just a maid. Nothing more than a servant. The woman's voice he had said he heard was probably the real witch's. But I had no interest in that. I almost would have preferred not having to think about anything at all. Nothing would cause me to waver if my head was empty. A world without joy or sorrow sounds quite wonderful. But never, nothing ever went the way I planned. For the white-haired girl, whom I thought I would never see again, appeared before me once more. I was quite nearly in a panic. Beneath my perfectly practiced smile was a ver veritable storm of emotions. Faint hope flared up within my shell. Perhaps this time. Michelle would remember me. But that hope was, unsurprisingly, in vain. And. We will end the stream right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's getting so good. It is. I mean, it's been really good, but...
now it's like oh just oh, picking up more oh. and more speed <laughs> yeah. yes exactly <laughs> a lot of question marks with those o's as well as exclamation yeah. marks <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you folks for joining us what does this all mean <laughs> We're Find getting there. on four pixels gaming <laughs> <laughs> have a good night folks is that your wife i thought she was a completely different character she can't Inside the new city passenger train. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. <laughs> we apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The best thing about Persona is that you don't have to talk when the characters talk. The next stop is Iwatodai. Hi, Kime. Why does Iwa Todai this is something the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. It is midnight. It's me. Something odd. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. It would probably be best to hurry to the door. 